I know that there is quite a few Stardew Valley gift guides on YouTube already, but the recent update introduced so many new items and changes that also affect villagers. So in this updated gift guide, we're going to be taking a look at all 34 townies, their easiest to come by loved and liked items, where you can mostly find them and what perks come with befriending everyone. This is a very in-depth guide on the friendship mechanics in Stardew, so if you're a veteran and don't want to go over the basics, then you can just skip to this part. However, if you're new to the game and are not quite familiar with everything, let me go over the most important things quickly. Each villager has a friendship score that is represented by this 10 heart meter in the social tab. Romance candidates will stay at 8 hearts until you give them a bouquet, and if you marry someone, this goes up to 14 hearts. Each heart is 250 friendship points. You can increase a villager's friendship points by talking to them every day, completing an item delivery quest or special quest, going with them to the movie theater, buying a snack for them at the movie theater, making certain choices in heart events, and of course, by giving them gifts. Friendship points can also decrease by not talking to them on a regular basis, giving disliked or hated items, hitting them with a slingshot, making certain choices in heart events, and going through trash cans while someone is close by, with the exception of Linus, who will actually gain some friendship points. It's also important to note that you can give up to two gifts to each villager per week. The friendship points you gain depends on whether it is a loved or maybe a hated item. The quality of the item you give also adds to the friendship points, with having a gift with no value giving 0 points, silver giving a 1.1, gold a 1.25, and an item with a iridium quality adds a 1.5 multiplier. Gifting an item on a villager's birthday adds a times 8 multiplier, meaning if you give an iridium quality loved item, that will earn you 960 friendship points. Giving an item to your secret gift recipient during the Feast of the Winter Star also adds a times 5 multiplier. To make gifting a bit easier, I personally like to place a chest right to the exit of my farm, which is dedicated for loved items for each villager. If you're ever looking for a specific character but can't seem to find them, most villagers are always in their houses in the morning and evening. You can also find a lot of the townspeople at the saloon on Friday night. Also, there are six universal love gifts. That includes the golden pumpkin, magic rock candy, pearl, prismatic shard, rabbit's foot and the stardrop tea. With the exception of Haley, who hates prismatic shard and Penny hates rabbit's foot. So now that you understand the most important things about gifting, let's move on to all of the different villagers. If you're looking for just one specific person, then you can check the timestamps down below. Also a heads up, this does include spoilers for 1.6, since there's a few new loved and liked items for certain villagers. With that out of the way, let's start with the romance candidates. Abigail's loved items include some cooked dishes, amethyst, pufferfish, pumpkin, and the newly introduced monster compendium. Her easiest loved item is without a doubt the amethyst. This can be found relatively early in the mines, and the easiest liked item for her is quartz. As for finding her around the map, she has quite an extensive schedule, but you can always find her in her house before 10am like most other villagers. Abigail's birthday is on fall the 13th, and this is what her spouse room looks like. Same as Abigail, one of Emily's loved items is Amethyst, along with some other gems like Aquamarine, Emerald, Jade, Ruby and Topaz. But she also likes Quartz and Daffodil. After reaching 3 hearts with her, she will send you the salad recipe in the mail, and after 7 hearts, you will get the red plate recipe. She will also send you occasional gifts like cloth, wool and sea urchin, which can be very useful for the community center. Emily works most evenings at the Stardrop Saloon after 4pm. Her birthday is on spring the 27th, and in my opinion, she has one of the best spouse rooms. Mainly because of the bird. Haley's love gifts include coconut, fruit salad, pink cake, and sunflower. But if you don't have access to any of these yet, she also likes daffodil. As for her schedule, she's always in her house in the morning, during spring, from Tuesday to Fridays, she will stand next to the fountain by the community center, and during summer, she will visit the beach in the morning and then go to the ice cream stand on most days. Her birthday is on spring the 14th, and her spouse room looks pretty much identical to the one at her home. 
Leah has few loved items that you can give her, like goat cheese, truffle, wine, and some cooking recipes. The easiest one you can obtain early on is the salad. This can be bought from the Star Drip Saloon for 220 gold. As for liked items, this includes almost all forager balls, any fruit, any milk, and all eggs, except void eggs. Leah will always be in her cottage in the morning, but if you don't have two hearts with her yet, she'll be at the saloon on most Fridays and Saturdays after 4 p.m. At six heart, you get the wooden sculpture from her, and yeah, that's about it. Leah's birthday is on winter the 23rd, and here you can see what her spouse room is gonna look like. Mara has a few loved items that you can give her, like battery packs, gold, iridium, and even radioactive bars. But your easiest choice is either a cauliflower or strawberries. Her liked items include chanterelle, copper, or iron bars, and of course, quartz. Mara works at Harvey's clinic on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Otherwise, she can be found at home or sitting next to the community center from time to time. Her birthday is on summer the 10th, and same as with Haley, her spouse room looks a lot like the room from her home. Penny's easiest to come by left items are emerald, diamond, and melons. With the new update, you can now also gift her any books, since these are a new loved item for her. If you have any spare artifacts, these count towards her liked gifts, same as dandelion and leek. On Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, she'll be teaching Vincent and Jazz at the museum. And on Saturdays, she'll be taking them to the playground. Her birthday is on fall the 2nd, and she has a really cozy spouse room with some bookcases and a tea table. Now, Alex? I'm not gonna lie, he's a bit tricky. He only has three loved items, which include the complete breakfast, salmon dinner, and the newly introduced Jack Be Nimble, Jack Be Thick. The complete breakfast is something you learn from the Queen of Sauce in year two, and the salmon dinner is from Gus after reaching three hearts with him. Jack Be Nimble, Jack Be Thick can be found while digging up artifact spots or bought from the bookseller starting in year three. Since Alex works out a lot, he likes all kinds of eggs, even dinosaur and parrot eggs. But the easiest gift for him early on is definitely the field snack. Alex is one of the few people that will leave his house pretty early and he'll be standing next to it playing with a squid ball. During summer, he'll visit the beach in the morning and then tend to the ice cream stand. His birthday is on summer the 13th and here's a look at his spouse room. Elliot is one of my personal favorites, but he is also one picky man. His loved items include two late game cooking recipes, duck feathers, lobster, pomegranate, and squid ink. Now, I always like to have a squid or midnight squid pond on my farm for recipes, so that's one way to get squid ink consistently. As for liked items, that includes old books, old fruit, except salmon berries, and octopus and squid. So yeah, maybe it is worth building a squid pond. Elliot can mostly be found standing on the beach or on this little bridge in town, but like most other villagers, he will visit the saloon on Fridays and Saturdays. Elliot's birthday is on fall the 5th and he has a very woodsy and cozy spouse room, kind of similar to Penny's one. Harvey has a taste for coffee, fine wine and truffle oil. But if you don't have any of these available yet, he will also be happy about any pickles you gift him. His liked items include a lot of seasonal forager balls and all reliable quartz. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, he'll be working at his clinic and most afternoons he can be found walking around town. Now, there aren't really any benefits from befriending him, but he has one of the best cutscenes in the entire game. So don't sleep on Harvey. His birthday is on the 14th of winter, and here's what his spouse room is gonna look like. Sam only has four loved items, which are cactus fruit, maple bar, pizza, and tiger's eye. If you don't have access to the desert yet and don't care much for cooking, you can buy a whole pizza from Gus at the saloon for 600 gold. As far as I know, he's the only person that likes Georgia Cola. So now you know what you can do with your stack of Georgia Cola that you found while fishing. Sam works part-time at Georgia Mart on Mondays and Wednesdays, and during the weekend, he'll visit the saloon and play pool with Abigail and Sebastian. His birthday is on summer the 17th, and his spouse room looks pretty basic with a bookshelf, computer, and his instruments. Sebastian is one of the few people that actually loves void eggs, 
In addition to that, he also loves obsidian, frozen tears and sashimi. If you find another frog egg later on, consider giving it to him for some special new dialogue. Same as Abigail, Sebastian likes the combat quarterly and of course Quartz. I never realized how many people actually liked Quartz. He's a bit tricky to befriend early on since Sebastian works on his computer and some days he'll just be in his room. On Fridays he'll be at the saloon and on Saturdays he'll visit Sam. His birthday is on the 10th of winter and here's a picture of his spouse room. Shane has to be one of the easiest people to befriend. His loved items are beer, hot pepper, pepper poppers and pizza. Now if you're lazy like me, I just buy beer or pizza from the saloon where you can find him almost every day after work. If you don't want to spend money on gifts, then you can also gift him some eggs or fruits. After reaching three hearts with him, he will send you the pepper popper recipe and after seven hearts, the strange bun recipe. He also has a chance of sending you pizza and pepper poppers in the mail, which I think is kind of funny. Both loved items for him. It's also worth mentioning that after his eight heart cutscene, you can now purchase blue chickens from Marnie's ranch. Shane's birthday is on spring the 20th and he has my least favorite spouse room. As much as I like him, my guy, you need to start cleaning up your stuff. Let's move on to the non-marriage candidates. Caroline is a tough cookie. Her left items are things you get much later in the game like fish taco, green tea, tropical curry, with the exception of the summer spangle which, well, you can grow during summer. So you're better off giving her a daffodil. You can mostly find her around her house, but she's also standing outside at the plaza from time to time. Caroline was always the one I used to rush the most during the first two weeks of playing, simply for the tea sapling recipe. This unlocks after reaching two hearts with her and entering the sun room next to her kitchen on a sunny day. After gaining three hearts, she will send you the parsnip soup recipe and at seven hearts you will get the vegetable stew. Her birthday is on winter the 7th. Clint has a bunch of easy loved items you can choose from, including amethyst, aquamarine, emerald, jade, ruby and topaz. If you're feeling fancy, you can also give him some gold or iridium bars. Same goes for his liked items, which are the lower tier ores like copper and iron. After reaching three hearts, he will send you the algae soup recipe and after seven hearts, the bean hot pot. He will sometimes send you items in the mail like copper, iron and gold bars. Clint's special day is on winter the 26th and I don't think I need to tell you where you can mostly find him. Demetrius loves bean hot pot and rice pudding, but if you don't have a kitchen yet, you can also buy him some ice cream during the summer or simply giving him a strawberry. He's also one of the few people that likes purple mushrooms and dinosaur eggs. After reaching three hearts, he will send you the fried mushroom recipe and after seven hearts, you will get the autumn spawnty recipe. He has a few items that he can send you in your mail. Most noticeable are the Nautilus shell and a bream. Demetrius' birthday is on summer the 19th and on most days you can find him in the lab with Maru, standing outside near his house or the community center. The dwarf can be reached after clearing out the rocks to his shop entrance. For that, you either need a steel pickaxe or any bomb. You'll also need to acquire all four Dwarvish scrolls and donate them to the museum for the Dwarvish translation guide, otherwise you won't be able to understand him. Same as Clint and Emily, he loves old gems except diamonds. He will always be tending to his shop in a cave and there isn't really anything you gain from increasing his friendship. No gifts, no letters, no recipes, besides a very minor cutscene with Krobos in the sewers. Granny Evelyn loves beets, chocolate, diamonds, fairy roses and even raisins. These can be made by putting five grapes into a dehydrator, but your easiest option early on is the tulip. Additionally, she also likes daffodil and broken glasses. After reaching four hearts with her, you get a cutscene upon entering her house where you unlock the cookie recipe and after seven hearts you get the rice pudding recipe. She will occasionally send gifts like bread, chocolate cake and cookies. Her birthday is on winter the 20th and you can either find her tending to the flowers outside on the plaza or in the morning and afternoon she'll be in her house. George only has two loved items which are fried mushrooms and leeks. I don't think I've ever given this man anything else than leeks but in case you haven't found any of these yet, he also likes daffodil. 
After reaching 3 hearts with him, you get the fried eel recipe, and after 7 hearts, you get the spicy eel recipe. His birthday is on fall 24th, and he's mostly just chilling in his house in front of the TV. Gus has an expensive taste for cooked dishes, like the escargot, fish taco, and tropical curry, but he also loves oranges and diamonds. Same as George, he also likes daffodil. As mentioned before, after reaching 3 hearts with him, you unlock the salmon dinner recipe, and at 7 hearts, the cranberry sauce. He also has a chance of sending you some finished meals in the mail. His birthday is on fall the 4th, and he is always at the saloon. The saloon opens every day at 12pm, by the way. Jazz has 4 loved items, including pink cake, plum pudding, fairy rose, and the fairy box. Fairy roses only grow in fall, but there is a small chance that you might get one from the traveling cart. Otherwise, she likes coconuts and daffodil. During the day on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, she can be found at the museum, same as Penny and Vincent. Her birthday is on the 4th of summer, and you don't really gain anything from raising her friendship level, besides one cutscene after reaching 8 hearts with both her and Vincent, where Vincent shows you how to remove insects from spring onions, making them 5 times more valuable. Which is... kinda useless. Jody's loved items include a bunch of cooking recipes, pancakes and fried eel being the easier ones, but she also loves diamonds. After reaching 3 hearts with her, you get the fried calamari recipe and after 7 hearts, the ice cream recipe. She will occasionally send you some fertilizer in the mail. Her birthday is on fall the 11th and she's pretty hard to track down, but you can always find her in her house every morning before 10. Kent is a villager that moves in on the first day of spring on year 2. He is, once again, one of the more pickier characters and only has two unique loved items, which are roasted hazelnuts and fiddlehead risotto. But I know you don't care about cooking and neither do I, so you're better off by just giving him a daffodil. If he's not at home, he is mostly standing by the town river in front of his house. Kent's special day is on spring the 4th, and after 3 hearts you get the crispy bass recipe, and after 7 hearts the super meal. Krovus is a character and shopkeeper you can find in the sewers. To reach him, you need to donate at least 60 pieces to the museum to get the rusty key from Gunther. Krovus has a few loved items you can give him, like a diamond, iridium bar, pumpkin, void egg, and void mayo. Or just simply give him some wild horseradish. If you don't want to give him any of these, he also likes gold bars and... quartz. <laughs> After reaching 3 hearts with him, you get the dark sign recipe, and Krobus can also become your roommate. Instead of the usual mermaid pendant, you will need to buy a void pendant from the desert trader for 200 void essence. His birthday is on the first of winter, and here's a look at his dungeon-like room. Leo is a little boy you meet much later in the game, once you have access to Ginger Island. He has, once again, an expensive taste for gift, like duck feathers, mangoes, poi, ostrich eggs, and parrot eggs. So if you don't have any of these available, thank god he's also a quartz enjoyer. After reaching 3 hearts with him, you get the poi recipe and at 7 hearts the mango sticky rice. His birthday is on the 26th of summer and his schedule depends on how many hearts you have with him. Below 6 heart, he will chill around the island, mostly near his hut, Above Six Heart, Leo will move into the valley, into this large tree next to Linus. He will visit Ginger Island on Sundays and some Mondays, otherwise you can find him hanging around with the other kids or Linus. Mia Louis' loved items include glazed yams, autumn's bounty, vegetable medley, but your easiest choice is definitely a hot pepper, which you can grow in bulk during summer. If you don't have any of these, blueberry, cactus and coconut will also do the trick. After gaining 3 hearts with him, you get the spaghetti recipe, and at 7 hearts, the eggplant parmesan recipe. His birthday is on the 9th of fall, and he can be a bit tricky to find, so if you want to give him something, just do it in the morning before 10am, where he's still in his house. Linus' love gifts include blueberry tart, cactus fruit, coconut, to show the sea, and even the alleyway buffet. If you don't have access to the desert yet, you can also just give him any forageables. That's what I usually end up doing. After reaching 3 hearts with him, you get the sashimi recipe, 
At 4 hearts you get the infamous tent cutscene, after which you unlock the wild bait recipe, and at 7 hearts you get the fish taco recipe. He will sometimes send you gifts in the mail like catfish, large mug bath, maki roll, and even fried calamari. Linus's birthday is on the 3rd of winter and he can mostly be found chilling around his camp near the mountain lake. Marnie's loved items mostly contain cooked dishes like the farmer's lunch, pink cake, and pumpkin pie. So your easiest option is just giving her a diamond. If you can't spare any of these, then guess what? She also likes quartz. After gaining 3 hearts with her, you will get the pale broth recipe and at 7 hearts the rhubarb pie. Her birthday is on fall the 18th and she is tending to her shop from 9 to 4 each day except Mondays and Tuesdays. Pam is an easy one. She loves any alcoholic beverage, parsnips and cactus fruit. Same as with Shane, I just buy beer at the saloon for her, where she is basically every single day. If you have the bus unlocked, she will stand next to the bus station every day from 10 to 5. After reaching 3 hearts with her, you get access to the cheese cauliflower recipe, and after 7 hearts you get the stuffing recipe. She has a chance of sending you items like battery packs, beer and energy tonic. Oh and her birthday is on spring the 18th. Moving on to everyone's favorite, Pierre. Now Pierre only had one loved item, which is the fried calamari. As we learned before, this is a recipe you get after befriending Jody and needs squid, which are only available during winter. Not exactly easy, but with the recent update he now has a second love gift, which is the prize catalog. The prize catalog can be purchased from the bookseller for 3000 gold. If you don't want to spend any money, which I don't blame you, Pierre certainly doesn't deserve it, you can also give him a daffodil or a dandelion. After reaching 3 hearts with him, he will send you the blueberry tart recipe. His birthday is on spring the 26th and you know where to find this man. His shop is always open except Wednesdays in year 1. Robin is also kinda hard to please. She only has 4 loved gifts including goat cheese, peach, spaghetti and Woody's secret. If you have a kitchen, spaghetti is relatively easy to make. You need 1 wheat flour and 1 tomato. But if you don't have any of these things available, she also likes quartz. After reaching 7 hearts with her, you get the pumpkin soup recipe and her birthday is on fall the 21st. The carpenter is open every day from 9 to 5 except on Tuesdays and on Fridays she closes early. Sandy's Oasis is available once you repair the bus by completing the vault bundle or purchasing it from the Chocha Community Development Plan. Sandy has very easy to come by love gifts like daffodil, crocus and sweet pea. If you don't like foraging, you can also give her goat milk, wool and of course quartz, since these are liked items for her. After gaining 7 hearts with her, you will receive the Tom Cow Soup recipe. She will occasionally send you cactus fruit, coconut and even the Tom Cow Soup. Her birthday is on fall the 15th and she will always be at her shop. The Oasis is open every day from 9 to 11.50 pm except on the days of the desert festival and her birthday where she will close the shop early. Vincent is one spoiled child. He loves cranberry candy, grapes, pink cake, snails and for some reason ginger ale. Grapes can be found as forageables during summer and snails can be obtained from crab pots in the river. So you're probably better off by just giving him a daffodil. As mentioned before, the only really perk of befriending the kids is the 8 heart cutscene you get for the spring onions and that's about it. His birthday is on spring the 10th and he can be found at the museum with Penny and Jazz on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Fridays. Last but not least, Willy. Now Willy has a bunch of recipes attached to his friendship level. His easiest loved items are either pumpkin or diamonds. You could also give him some meat if you have some honey that you don't know what to do with. There's a whole lot of liked items that you can give him but the easiest is, as always, quartz. After reaching 3 hearts with him, you get the chowder recipe. After 5 hearts, the escargot recipe. After 6 hearts, you get a cutscene with Gus and Willy, after which Gus will sell a limited amount of crab cakes at the saloon for 505 gold each, starting on the day after a cutscene for 3 days after. At 7 hearts, you get the fish stew recipe, and at 9 hearts, you get the lobster bisque. Like I said, a lot of goodies. Willy's special day is on the 24th of summer, and his shop is open from 9 to 5 pretty much every day with a few exceptions, like during the Trout Derby where he will visit the festival himself. 
and the last villager, the wizard aka Rasmodius. His loved items include purple mushrooms, solar essence, super cucumber, void essence, and the very rare book of mysteries. If you don't have any of these available, then don't worry, he is, as well, a fellow quartz enjoyer. After reaching four hearts with him, you get access to his basement, where you can use the Shrine of Illusions to change your appearance. He also has a chance of sending you gifts in the mail like fire quartz, jade, frozen tears, and purple mushrooms. His birthday is on the 17th of winter, and you can always find him in his tower. And that concludes all 34 villagers in Stardew Valley. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please leave a like, it helps out so much. Let me know in the comments down below who your favorite villager is and why, and thanks for watching.